What is up, guys? It's your boy, Jerry333. Like, subscribe, share. Check the links in the description, son. So, there's this guy, Apex TV. He's got his first video's got 9 point something million views right now. Last video he made got a couple million. But check this out. He talks about a time machine that he walked into. He was born in the year 2045, I believe. He came to our time period in 2075. That's when he jumped back to our time. I think it was about 2018. He talks about this machine he, he got into. We're gonna go and look up exactly what is it he's talking about. It's not Michael Phelps, the swimmer. His name is Michael Phillips. Okay, get it straight. So guys, he was actually born in the year 2043. The name of the video is called Time Traveler from the year 2075 talks about WWE 3 secrets. If you want to watch, go and watch the video. So in the video, it says that the time machine uses micro singularities. So what is that? Let's look it up. So if you look at micro singularities on Google, definition, micro singularities can describe a set separate entities linked with an access to similar thoughts and ideas. Micro similarities can exist in networks that are capable of passing information quickly from one node to many with a latency of only a few seconds or minutes. Okay. So, geometric distortion, if you Google that, refers to the improper positioning of scatters in the output image where it's respect to the true position when viewed in a properly scaled common image or displayed so it's a distortion it's not um, putting things out of their proper place so people also ask what is a distortion it variation between lines and caused by random variations in platform attitude altitude along the direction of Light images from across track scanning systems. So distortion basically means things not in the proper place. So if you look up distortion, is the act of being distorted. So that what is distort? You see, what I'm saying. Look up distort. It's pull or twist out of shape. So now you would look up what is geometric. It's related to geometry. So when you're talking about time and space, it's basically pulling apart time space. Some something like this. Check out this clip. My bad guys. It creates gravimetric distortion, not geometric. Gravimetric. Well, I'm sure geometry is involved in there somewhere. Anyways, what this means is the measurement of weight that these two jewels, he mentioned jewels in the video, that these jewels create some type of gravimetric force, okay, which creates gravimetric distortion. He calls it two jewel positive singularities. Let's look that up. Obviously, you guys should know what a jewel is. Precious stone, typically a single crystal or piece of hard, uh, you know, minerals. So these jewels used on this machine must have some type of element that are used to you to create this geometric force. Or excuse me, gravitational force. Right. So because he defines them as jewel positive singularities, that means these two separate jewels have some type of capacity where they can think at the same time. So, he also says to travel in time, you use the gravimetric force inwards and to travel in space, basically like a teleportation, which what Majin Buu did, that would use the, the force outward. When you push the force outside of itself, then it would create the, the wormhole. So this short clip was from Dragon Ball Z. Imagine Boo was mad he couldn't have any candy, so he shoot a huge energy blast into the atmosphere, but it didn't create a time mechanism thing. It actually created a time um, space hole. So in the video, uh, this guy, Michael, also talks about a space travel. So he talks about time and he talks about space is, we're gonna get into that later in the video. 
But anyway, that's what Majin Buu did in this clip. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out links in the description, son. We do this on the daily, son. Build a spacecraft, man, right now. And you guys, make sure you check out the last video I posted where Michael Phillips talked about the president of the year 2024. That he goes against Oprah Winfrey, okay? The Oprah Winfrey. Make sure you check out the video. And also, uh, Michael Phelps talked about this guy. That's that's who he is, Michael McIntosh. That's his name, who he created his channel after, basically. He gave him a shout-out and said, you know, Oprah tries to run for president in 2024, and Donald Trump, basically, he gets the first and second term. He tries for a third term and doesn't make it. And then uh, other people start running. Uh, among them is Oprah Winfrey. And then this, that's where uh, Michael uh, McIntosh becomes president, which he actually talks in his first video, which I saw yesterday. If you watch the video that I uploaded before this one, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I saw the video he uploaded, and he's been training for it his whole life. You know, like I said, me and him go way back. Watch the video. Check it out. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. Check out links in the description as well.